Oh. Let me go ask this. Let me go. I'm gonna go talk to Tony Lowinger about this. I just saw him. Yeah. Mr. Lounger, can I ask you about this letter? Sure. Who, who are you? My name's Thomas. Hi, Thomas. I, I, I support SB 1118. I'm concerned that you're, you're essentially saying if we did away with all abortions, we wouldn't be able to do away with just the ones after 20 weeks? Well, Thomas, it's more complex than that. Uh, Your, your question implies that, in fact, this legislation would succeed in doing away with all abortions. Well, if they succeeded in passing SB 1118, and that repealed the pain-capable and the heartbeat informed, now instead of killing your baby after you're informed that they're having a heartbeat, you just wouldn't be allowed to do it. And now instead of killing your baby before they have um, pain capability? Well, you which you wouldn't be allowed to do it. It'd be murder. It'd be. I mean, that's what abortion is, right? Well, it's killing. Abortion is killing a, a poor child, a living baby. So why do we allow them to kill an unborn living baby? Well, we're not allowing them to do it. The U.S. Supreme Court is allowing them to do it. Sure. So they're wrong. They're wrong. So we don't challenge them. We just just let them let them do what they're doing. Well. We need, we need to have five pro-life justices on the court before we can protect the unborn child again. So we're not allowed to protect the unborn child until the people at the very tip top tell us. So 40 more years of this Holocaust. You don't think those guys should just defy and just say, listen, the Constitution says you shall deprive no person of the right to life. We're going to pass laws in Oklahoma saying no person shall be deprived the right to life without due process of law. No person. We're, we're with the Constitution. The Supreme Court's wrong. Is it not time for that? Well, did you say Thomas? Thomas yes. Hunter? Thomas. Tony yeah. uh, Thomas, uh, unfortunately, we're not, you know, we're not in control of our own destiny on this subject. Uh, we are... <clears throat> A nation of laws, and we have the system of government that our founders gave us. Right. And we have separation of powers. Right. And we have a court system that rules on the constitutionality of the laws that are enacted by the legislative branch. And what do we do whenever the judicial branch goes against the Constitution of the United States? Well, uh, maybe impeach justices, that'd be one step. Well, we're not uh, doing that. Elect, we're not trying elect to do that. a pro-life president who will appoint pro-life Supreme Court nominees. Pro-life presidents are the ones who appointed the very judicial tyrants that you're saying we need. The, the guys who voted for Planned Parenthood versus Casey and the guys who did Roe v. Wade, majority appointed by Republican presidential candidates who got the pro-life nod from organizations just like yours. The National Right to Life candidates put people in there like John Roberts, right? This has got to change. I'm not just trying to be mean to you. This has got to change. You've got Oklahomans for Life opposing a bill that calls abortion what it is and says that we ought to stand up and do what's right. I didn't say we opposed the bill. I said we opposed the repeal of the heartbeat. And I know. It's I, clever. It's very, it's very shifty and clever. You're saying that if we abolish abortion as murder, it'll it'll repeal the pro-life work that you've done to regulate abortion to where you can only kill babies up to 140 days. And I go to abortion clinics, and they tell me as they're going in, my baby won't feel pain. Where did they learn that? From Oklahomans for Life. We have to repeal this. This is an evil law. You're not allowed to murder children before 20 weeks development. Implicit in your question is the expectation that Senate Bill 1118 would be upheld in court and would take effect. A fight for that. If we well, don't defy the courts how, how with something like this, we'll never do it. 
how realistic is it that, that the underlying law would be upheld either by the Oklahoma State Supreme Court? As or realistic the as the Fourteenth Amendment itself. People like you were saying we cannot abolish slavery. What we need to do is we need to slow its westward expansion. We cannot abolish slavery. It's not realistic. The Supreme Court has ruled in 1857 in Dred Scott versus Sanford that the, that the slave is property, he's not a person. The Supreme Court rules that. And then people say, you know what? The Supreme Court is wrong. And they start disobeying the Supreme Court. They start passing well, laws. They, they pass they three, challenge. three constitutional amendments to get, to get Dred right. Scott reversed. But that we, was because been, the abolitionists were agitating for it. Sure, and we've been working, I personally have been working since 1973 to reverse the Roe v. Wade decision. But these aren't reversing the Roe v. Wade decision. These are complying with them. The reason that you can pass this is because it fits within Planned Parenthood versus Casey, because it doesn't it, 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 it allows the state to regulate abortion within the parameters set by the Supreme Court. The reason you can pass the Informed Consent Act is because it's a pro-choice one. It's just saying before you kill your baby, you have the option to choose to listen to the heartbeat if the abortionist will, you know, facilitate it. That's all that is. It's a pro this is a pro-choice law. Well, it's it's a law that is in effect, that is allowing a woman to establish a bond with her unborn baby, and it doesn't work. <laughs> make a decision. Six thousand children do. are being butchered in Oklahoma every year. Right. The that number the, that we know of, the number kind of goes down because of the proliferation of Plan B abortifacients. So the number kind of goes down. The number does not go down as a result of any of the laws. The Rose Day thing. You, because I go to the abortion clinics, and none of the lobbyists and none of the Rose Day people are at the abortion clinics. They are busy. They are constant. The people tell us that their babies don't feel pain. The people tell us my baby doesn't have a heartbeat. The people go get abortions, and the guy who's supposed to follow the informed consent heartbeat thing and tell them, would you like to hear your baby's heartbeat, is the very guy who wants to get $600 from them to slice them up. It's a partnership with the abortionist. You don't think that there's any benefit in women knowing that their baby's heart is beating or I no, think they knowing, all know. knowing that the baby feels pain. I think it's sin. I think there's a child there that has to that they take away to death to cover their sin, to hide their shame. And they do it and they think it's legal. They don't want to hear the heartbeat. They've all been to school. They know what an ultrasound is. They know where babies come from. This is all this is all this thing that's set up that purports to be righteous, but it's unrighteous. And they, they, they just go in there. They don't want, like the, the one y'all passed recently about like making them look at a website. So if you go to Larry Burns' website and you scroll down to the bottom, there's a little, you can go to the Woman's Right to Know website. Someone who's wanting to have their child aborted doesn't purposely go to the abortionist website and then go to the website made by the government and then go look at prenatal images and read all that pro-choice you have a right to know and here's the prenatal baby blah 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 they know the problem is is there's a baby there that they don't want and they think this is a legal procedure sure there's a bunch of republicans that want me to think about it a lot before i uh have it done but they're not telling me it's murder they're not telling me it's wrong. They're not telling me I can't do it. And the law is a tutor. And when the law is not established, people run. They shed innocent blood. This is the job of the governing magistrates. And you're just a lobbyist, but every one of them that I talk to, that I say, hey, do you think abortion is murder? They say, yes. I say, would you support SB 1118? They say, well, let me, let me, let me see what Tony thinks. He's been driving up for 40 years. And I just want to shoot very straight with you. For 40 years, if you've been putting other things, if you've been moving the goalpost around to other places of the field. We haven't been moving the goalpost around. We've been moving closer to the goalpost year by year with pro-life legislation that is upheld in court. The voice as strong as thunder will be heard across the land. Calling to the magistrates to save our neighbor man
Do you view Roe versus Wade as legitimate law that's binding upon America? Uh. This thunder will be felt across the 